So today's session is working with free weights. Grab your weights, bring yourself down to the floor and lie yourself in the T-shape with your weight pointing to your arm. Well, Good. Good. So, sorry, the weight, your palm's underneath your weight more like, sorry. Mm -hmm. And um, just let your body go. Let your body just fall into the floor. Find your Pilates breathing, your usual inhalation in through the nose and exhalation through the mouth. And again, nice little deep breath in through the nose. Nice deep breath out through the mouth, just drawing in through your belly, feeling your spine pressing down into the ground. And let's just do one more deep breath, inhale. And exhale, drawing everything down. We're going to bend our knees, take our feet down onto the floor. A little warm up through the body. Pressing down into our feet, we roll the hips and we lift up into a bridge on the exhale. We inhale to hold, we exhale, roll out. Drop down to the floor. Lift your knees up towards your chest. Extend your legs to the sky, push through the soles of your feet. Inhale, bend the knees and put those feet back down to the ground. Exhaling, rolling your hips, looking up into a bridge. Take your breath in as we pause at the top and we exhale, roll it out. Working through that spine and flexion. Engage your lower abs, lift the legs in towards you and push your legs to the sky and push your soles and feet to the ceiling. Inhale, bend the knees, pop your feet back down, repeat your bridge, roll it up. Inhale to hold. Exhale to grow. Engage the abs and put the spine, knees in, lengthen the legs, push the soles of the feet, push your bottom into the ground, keep straightening your knees, inhale, bend the knees, pop the feet down, last bridge. We're going to hold the bridge for a little bit. So roll it up. And then we're going to lift up onto our toes. We're going to drop our heels. We're going to brush our buttocks to the floor. Then lift the hips, lift the heels. Drop the heels, drop the buttocks. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, drop the heels, exhale, brush floor. Three more of these. Make sure you don't tuck your feet too close underneath your knees. It gives it, it makes you work a little bit harder if you do not slide those heels under. One more lift up knee. Lift the hips, lift the heels, pause the heels here. Squeeze the butt and raise your hips another inch or two. Press the hips up and down. 10, nine, work into those calves. Seven, six, five, four, three. Squeeze those knees a little bit more together. Last one and we inhale, heels down, exhale, roll it out. Hit the floor, take a breath in, exhale, in from the spine, lift your legs to the tabletop. Take a breath in here, exhale, extend the legs to the sky. Inhale, bend the knees, tap your toes or heels to the floor as you pivot from your hip, lift back, extend. Bend, tap down. Lift in, extend. Bend, tap down. In, lengthen. Bend, tap down. Three more times. Every time you straighten your legs, straighten the floor. But don't lift your buttocks off the floor. Okay, we lift the knees back up. We extend the legs and hold the legs here. This time pointing your toes. Squeeze the belly in. And we're just going to do little crisscrosses. So stay quite high and just mobilizing those hips. Moving the body a little bit more. Correct. And then four more of these, push the legs back to 45 degrees away, carry on. 10, nine, now begin to squeeze your belly a little bit more. Seven, six, so then you can't get too much, bring your legs back up to the sky again. Last three, and two, one more, and one. I'll put the legs, bend the knees, put the feet to the floor, take a few breaths. Roll those hips into the bridge. Stay flat on your feet, just hold your bridge. Now, start to think about your upper body. Grab the weight, 
lift your forearms off the floor. So you're slightly bending the elbows and then let's go to a big half circle above the chest. We exhale up, inhale, open out. If you've got a light weight, breath yourself a heavier weight. Chest muscles are strong muscles. They can do a lot. And I want you to feel yourself working those muscles. And if you're not, you need to go up a bit. Inhale in. Exhale, close. Squeeze up. Tap the weights together. Your elbows tap the ground. We bring our arms back together again. And if you do have slightly lighter weights, you can make your forearms a little bit longer. We're going to go eight. Squeeze those back. Six. Five. Lift up more. Four. Three. Last two. Four more. And one. Take a breath in. Lift your hips. Open those arms out halfway. Let's pump them for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Last two. And one, drop the elbows, open the forearms back to the floor, and then roll out of your bridge on your breath out. Let the arms relax wide, slide those shoulder blades under, inhale, exhale, lift the legs to tabletop. We're going to take the legs halfway over to the right, taking your ideas to the left, pause, and then bring the legs back through to centre, straighten your legs up to the ceiling, toes down, heels away. Inhale, bend the knees, but your legs over to the left, ideas to the right, enjoy that rotational stretch, working the obliques, shoulders to the ground, inhale, back to centre, exhale, extend. And just blend this exercise, so as I move over to the right, I begin to bend the knees to 90 degrees, and as I pull my knees back up, I begin to straighten them out, so as I come to the top, they land, and then I continue to float over to the other side, and so on, please don't rush it. The lovely blended flow of movement. And continue your breath. Keep that circulation breathing going. Don't worry if it's at the wrong or right time. Just keep breathing. Straighten those legs more and more every time. If you want a little bit more, you can kick that those legs away, further away to 45 degrees and bend them back to that rotation. Four more of these. Come in. 45 degrees is easy to straight up. Is it? Yeah. We'll go halfway then, put the out. No. Go lower. Okay, last one. Straighten those legs to the sky. Right up above your hip. <laughs> and then we're going to inhale and we're just going to drop our knees over. So just take a quick stretch. Drop them down, put the weight on the thigh and open out that left shoulder and twist. Make this a really strong stretch. Get the knees as high as your body allows them to. You want to get this across the buttock area as well as the lower back and then across the rib cage and that left shoulder. Left shoulder blade pressed down into the ground as well as the knees pushed down together. And I want you to, every exhale, go deeper. Make this feel like you're working your body, like an exercise, but it's a deep stretch. And carefully free that right arm. Lift your top leg up first, all the way, as far as it will go. Open it out, open it out, open it out, pause. Then lift the other one. So they're wide. Then bring the feet together and the knees float out. Just very subtly rolling into the right buttock, bring your feet down to the front right corner of your mat, back into centre. 
A little rotation to the left buttock and drop the feet to the left corner of the mat. When you pull your feet up, they're always slightly higher than your knees, okay? Just have a little look, make sure they're not dropping down. So I never go further than the buttock. I don't let, allow myself to rock all the way over, but I do feel my rib cage very softly coming off the ground, but I've got the control of the core. So you don't want to feel any straining. What you might find is you start sliding down your mat and your arms are suddenly up behind your head. So we can wriggle ourselves back up and finish. Down. If you want a little bit more, you can make your feet a little bit longer. Go beyond the corner of the mat. So we're going to go four more each side. Make them strong. Pull your abs do all the work, nothing else. Your abs pull those legs back in. Okay, so when we've done that last one, we lift into the center. Release your hands from those weights, slide your hands down the shins and catch hold of your ankles and push the heels in, open the knees out and stretch. If you want to go further, slide your hands around the outside of the edges of your feet, heels down, knees open, head down and shoulders down. And you're aiming to keep your cockpit down in the ground. So resist everything but the shoulders. Try. Always come. Open those knees wide. Two more breaths here, and then use the opportunity to go that a little bit further and that stretch. And then you're going to release the legs, bring them back together, take them back to a 96 degree angle. Slide your hands back underneath those weights. If you wriggle down your mat, just take yourself back up. Now straighten your legs. Pendulum. Legs go over to the left. They stop halfway, back to middle, straight over to the right. If this is too much for you, go back to the exercise you did before, where we straightened at the top and we bent through as we rotated. We came back to that 90 degree angle from the knee. Again, keep the control, shoulders pinned down. You can have a soft knee, that's fine. You have a little feet touching over there. Go on, make yourself, let's go, make this very pretty, all in one direction. Turn your head the opposite direction, really utilize this exercise for your whole spinal rotation. So we're getting every part of the spine turning. Four more. Now that last one, we bend the knees, we pop our knees all the way down to the left. So the weight goes on top of that side and we enjoy this wonderful place. Right shoulder blade into the ground, reach away. Take some long deep Come on, use your breath, go further. I want to see people sliding their arms deeper into the floor. I want to see those knees maybe putting a little bit further up towards your shoulder. Now we release the top weight. Our top leg comes up on its own. It rotates, it rolls, and then it will just automatically pick up that bottom leg and you can end up in the center. Bring the feet together again and then pop your outside edges of your feet on the ground with your knees in butterfly. Take a breath in, exhale, let's lift the hips up, come into a butterfly bridge. 
Once you've lifted to your foot the maximum point, which actually isn't very far, try and let the knee fall apart a little bit more and really push down to the outer edges of your feet. And we're just going to brush the buttocks down and lift back. Inhale down. If you want to free your arms and just release your arms a little bit, you can put your arms, palms down by your side. Okay, just do one more for me quickly. Drop your bottom of that back down. Pick up one or both of your weights. We're going to work into triceps. So depending on how strong your triceps are feeling, there are smaller muscles in your chest. So I'm going eight kilos. You might want to go left. We're going to lift the hips up, guys. We're going to bend our elbows behind our head and extend our arms back up to the sky. And if you want, brush your buttocks as you tap the heels, the weights down, sorry, and lift everything up high, keeping those knees wide. Inhale, the high, exhale. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Just having the comments has been replied. Because <laughs> we haven't got the drone coming today. <laughs> Nice, strong breath. Feel the squeeze of the butt, the inner thighs working to open those knees out a little bit more. We're going to go another four more in these arms. Elbows placing towards your head. So you're working into the triceps a little bit more. Three, sorry, two, last one. We hold up in that bridge. Bend your arm halfway back, and we're going to pump up and down, up, down. Up, down, eight, seven, lift, five, four, three, two, one more, and one. Inhale, roll out, close the knees, bring the soles and feet together, and take your arms very gently behind you. Once they hit the floor, turn your palms up to face the sky and reach your arms as straight as they will go. Close towards your head, extending through the arms, and straighten your legs and get a full body stretch. And reach away through those legs. Reach away through those arms. Slide your hands out from those weights. Bring your arms down by your side. A bit weird. Then lift your right knee, followed by your left knee in towards your chest. Give yourself a little roll around. So that butterfly bridge is quite strong in the sacrum area. Now we're going to just simply turn ourselves over onto our side. So I'm going to turn myself onto my left side. So you are too. <laughs> um, and grab a weight. Up onto your elbow. And then everyone up into a half of the side plank. On the knees, lift the hips. Take the weight, lift it up. Push your hips forward so your body creates a straight line. Okay? Then squeeze your underneath butt cheek to lift the hip. We're going to inhale, rotate under. Exhale. As we lift, we pull the arm over and straighten out the leg up to a half star. Drop. Under, up, and reach. Cool. And of course, this can be done with any weight. Just drop your weight. Three more. Get those hips up a little bit higher. Push your hips a little bit further forward. This is your last one. We lift, we reach, and we pulse the leg. Take the arm up, put too much pressure on the shoulder. Up and down, as high as you can go. Lift, 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 eight. Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and release. Weight down. Okay, I'm going to use, definitely use a light weight for this. A heavy weight, we'll just squad wide. You need to drop down. Nothing beyond the three, I reckon, for this. Have you got anything small? There's fours over there. Do you want to borrow? I'll bring it. Um, it. You can work with one side at a time, so you can take a two or three compound. Okay. You'll be alright, so you can take my two to your. Okay. So left arm is going to relax down just in front of you. You're holding the weight with your right arm. So it's a couple of exercises in one. You're going to lift your eye gaze and your chest up to the floor. Your legs are going to stay faster to the floor. You're going to pull your right elbow in. You're going to open your arm out and circle all the way around and lift up above your buttock. Then you're going to close it back up, bend it, and drop it forward. So we lift, squeeze, open, and lift. Right, all of you need to come my side, face my way. Try to keep right hip down. Hip, stay down. All right. So let's work this together. First of all, squeeze back. Look up to me. Look up to me. Squeeze back. Everything into the floor, yeah? The arm opens out and circles and you reach. You come back, bend and drop. Lift. Squeeze it. Open out wide, circle it, and it's just brushing the bump, 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 down, from, down, from, down, from, down, from. Back and two more. Open, 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 squeeze. Last one. She looks so awkward watching you. Yeah, it feels like when she's very poetic. And release, drop over to the other side, drop down to the breath. So we look up, we lift the chest, we pull back, we open and squeeze. So roll back and down. So imagine your shoulders, your points of your shoulders staying facing down. That's the challenge. You pull and then you have to work all those postural muscles up much better. Back and so I don't know the heavy weight, right? Pull back, bump that butter. Come on, that's it. Hard on the side. Anyone else finding hard on the side? I'm not finding it. I'm not finding it. I feel this in your back muscles tomorrow. You're doing it right. Two more. Lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Open the arm out. Serve it around. Put it, put it, put it. Then come back. And release. Same with every point that I say. Everybody up. Everyone squeeze the shoulder blades. Everyone open out wide to the side. Everyone circle, circle, circle. Lift it up. And then bring it back. Hands on your forehead, relax. Wriggle. Take a whole body wriggle. Whole body wriggle. No. Loosen it all. Bring your hands. Interlace your fingers behind the base of the spine. Lift your head, shoulders, take those arms off as tight as they were going. Stretch over to the shoulders. Lift them away from your bottom and push them down to your heels. You'll need a little help in hand with this one. Gently release off. Bring your heels to bottom. Catch your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your knees together and stretch through the quad. Okay, lift your head, lift your shoulders, <laughs> and then lift your knees off the ground. Come on, come on, lift up. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift that chest. Lift the thighs, thighs. Four, come on, Tom, lift them. Two. Oh, it's a form of torture, isn't it? <laughs> it is. 
Carefully transition back into child pose. Very carefully. No. You can see why I have so many stretch clients, can't you? All my private work is 90% stretch. This guy's going to fix me. And men. Tuesday afternoon, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I'll be done. Quick fix then, yeah? I promise me, yeah. Please, my support. Take your arms, you're going to walk over to the left. Catch your right wrist and take a full side bend through that whole right side as you pull your right hip back into your heel. Enjoy that lap stretch. Go to the other side, we'll go to the other side, catch the left wrist, and then slide the arms. Side bend, pull your left hip back. Come through to the middle again. Okay, we're going to turn to the other side and work our rotation. So I'm turning onto, what side am I turning onto? Or, my right side. Yeah, we've moved. Yeah. I've swapped out. Right. That's why I'm confused. Feel a bit thick. We'll do that front work. Okay, so we're going to bend our knees. First of all, lift up into that half plank. So as soon as you lift your body, you push your body forward. You just feel like you're opening out through the whole front of your body, grab your weight, squeeze your underneath buttock, and then we swing under. We lift, and we take the leg and the arm behind and push the leg away. Drop it back down, keep it under, lift it up, push away. I bet it does. Two more. It's nine big lifts. Keep lifting those hips every time you lift that leg at the top. Last one. Now lift that leg up. The arm can stay high and we pulse the leg up and down. Come on, lift the hips up. Squeeze. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, push higher. Five, four, three, two, and run. Well, let's turn to your back. I'm just going to swing around. Oh. Give me a bigger one there. Okay, arms up above your shoulders, legs flat. You can slightly bend your knees if you prefer. We're going to roll up, roll up, bring the weight to the shoulders, drop halfway down, do 10 shoulder press. Six, half in, sorry, didn't have shoulder press. Eight. Nine, one more, and ten, roll down. Take a breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, roll up. Lift up, drop back, ten shoulder breaths. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, what roll down? Take a breath in. Exhale, roll up. Oh god, my shoulders there like this. Ten. But alternatively, strongly, you could do this. <laughs> Four, three, two, 
Go on, we're gonna do one more set. We're rolling it down. Take a breath at the bottom. Couple like the act breath my shoulder today. It's from yesterday. Roll up. Let's go. Ten. Pirate. Nine. Eight. Seven. Think back and do a little bit more. You're meant to be working your abs here. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And weights down. Relax your shoulders. Well, heart rate up, that is. Mm. So our left arm is going to go wide and half T. We're going to go back into those rotations. Right arm straight up above. We're going back into working with flies. Knees bend, tabletop. Knees go to the left, arms go to the right. Follow that right hand. Back to the middle, same again. Now you can do this, you can do your legs straight if you wish. Now the heavier the weight, the better this exercise is. So use, if you've got a two, double it up on that hand to four. And now you'll feel it balances out your body a little bit better and you can actually go that little bit further it's far more beneficial. It's not about strength, it's about bouncing the weight from the legs to the arms. Four more. Inhale, open, exhale, up, centre. One more. Good, now drop your feet. Take your right leg straight up, and then you can catch your weight and just hamstring stretch with your weight up there. Straighten that leg. And if you don't want to hold your weight, drop the weight. If your arms are staying naked, you hold your leg. Straighten out your left leg. Draw your right hip down to the ground. Bend the knee, slide your hand around the shin, and take a bit of a hip flexor stretch. Drive that thigh in towards your right shoulder. Ooh. Open the knee a little bit wider. Put your left leg a little bit deeper and longer. Take it across to the left side of your body, holding on to it with your left hand. So your right buttock comes off the ground, but you're still forcing it towards your left shoulder. You like me? You're not really going further, just locks. Bring it back to the middle. Lift your left leg up to join your right. Take your right weight out wide and take your left arm up to the top. We take our legs to the right, our arm to the left, look towards it, and then bring everything back into the middle. If you want, straight legs. Do you think this is just a really nice exercise? Is anybody with me on that? <laughs> no, everyone would know. Not the worst, really, there we go. Tom's kind of like half with me. That's what I thought. No, he said it's not the worst. I paid out a gift, I paid out a gift. 99 out of 100. Yeah. Well, you won't, because you know that's that fun I get. Three more. <laughs> Last one. Big, big lift all the way to the top. Then bend your knees. Extend that left leg. Catch around the back with your hand, with your own weight, and push that leg straight. 
Well, I'm pushing against that weight. The time takes the actual weight of the weight to bounce the amount of weight. Does that make sense? <laughs> Slide your right leg down. And go nice and deep into that hamstring stretch. Drive your left hip down towards the floor. And then straighten the leg. Bend your knee, catch around the shin, and draw that leg into the hip flex stretch. So once you've taken it straight in, you can roll it out to the side towards the left armpit. And the right leg, force it down to the wall. So bring it across the chest, put it in towards your right shoulder using your right hand. Left buttocks comes off the floor, right buttocks stays on the floor. Come back to the center, slide your hand around that left side, roll yourself up. Take your legs straight, lift up, take a hamstring stretch, catch the feet, bend them as much as you need to get them. Lift to the left, stand up really close to the camera split. And then just drop down as far as you can go, stretch the hamstring. Come on, get those heads a little bit straighter, get those heads a little bit lower to the side. Good. Catch your right hand around the outside edge of your left foot. Take your hand out and take a little rotation. Open out the shoulder blade. So resist all the shoulder blade apart from the spine. That makes any sense. The other side. Yeah, it's a bit of a It stretches your shoulder blade. Should do. It's more than that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. 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 One more time. Take a long, deep stretch up through the spine. Lift your body up to, uh, into a straight spine. Chest forward, shoulders back, then drop back. Okay, we're going to roll up and we're going to just do a buttock stretch seated. So lean back. Pardon? Right. Oh, you? Yeah, oh, really? you can do it. You can do it now, John. Let's we'll, we'll all we'll just sit here and wait. Yeah, we'll watch. Right, when when you're ready, John, you're going to bend your legs. You can put your left hand over your right knee and just pull your right heel in and lift your chest. So you can move your body up right as much as you need to. Lift. Walk in. Hit the stretch. To expanding on the ground, chest up, shoulders back. And the other side. What happened to uh, Richard? Please. No, not at all. Not in the office, not anywhere. Like, not in these buildings. No, walking around. And we've sometimes seen jogging past and we've seen it all. Must be well. No. It's kind of snapped. It's tighter than me. <laughs> Lift, 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 lift. Got more elements. Yes. For that, you should be grateful. 
Glad to be here, Dan. Mm -hmm. Hey, Richard, you're watching. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> okay, release that. Come and curl yourself into a little wall. Just wrap yourself around. Drop your chin to your chest. Let your spine be soft. Let your shoulders relax. So just a little natural ball. And then bring yourself into what you might call an uncomfortable cross-legged position. I want you to um, take one foot in front of the other and just wriggle it a couple of inches further forward. And then just bring your hands forward and drop down. No matter where you go, no matter how far you go, just lower yourself down. And then you're going to roll up when you're ready and just switch to foot position. So this will be one more unnatural side. Not that it's even natural for most of you. <laughs> Come forward. Put that. Ah. <laughs> And then just pull yourself up, bring yourself up, grab your knees, always use them to lift up tall. Open your arms. Inhale your arms up, exhale, hands together, clap, bow, everything you usually do. Fabulous, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much.